Only hours ago, a trawler named the Cape Beaver departed from this Nova Scotia port. Then the ship encounters dense fog and collides with a smaller fishing boat, the Margaret Jane. The larger vessel tried to stop, but it was too late. Shocked by the collision, the crews of both ships fear that the battered Margaret Jane might sink. We didn't feel that much of a jar on our vessel, and we didn't know how hard they were hit. But when I see steam come out of the engine room, I knew then that we had a very serious problem. Sure enough, in only two minutes, half of the smaller ship is submerged. Most of the Margaret Jane's 18 fishermen scramble for life preservers and leap into the freezing ocean. Some aren't as fortunate. As the ship is swallowed by the ocean, it creates a whirlpool that pulls several of the helpless men under. Fortunate sailors with flotation devices resurface. Quickly, the Cape Beaver's captain and his crew inflate life rafts. Others jump into lifeboats to rescue their comrades. The stricken seamen cling to the wreckage. The search for survivors begins. Fog-shrouded ocean hides the victims from the rescuers. One life raft collects six seamen. Those still in the water continue to yell for help. Despite all rescue efforts, only 14 crew members of the Margaret Jane are found. Tragically, four remain lost at sea. One of the lucky survivors is Alan Creaser. I was panicking. I was worried, like, how is everybody else? Where is everyone else? Who did everyone get off? You know, I just, just couldn't believe what had happened. The loss of a ship was especially difficult for Captain Morris No. I really thought that she would stay afloat longer than what she did. But only a couple minutes, she was gone. It's a situation that I'll never forget, and I'll take it to